Hi folks, a very quick catch up with you. Just an apology for the audio in the last video. Um, hopefully this will turn a little better. I uh, had issues with my GoPro session and the microphone and not being very good at noise cancelling. So splashed out in the new GoPro Hero 8, uh, which is, excuse me, covered in rain because once again I've nipped out for a quick spin and the rains come on anyway yeah just to say thanks for watching the last one sorry about the audio uh quickly cover off the brakes uh, well the brake pads uh the golfer center brakes fine yeah they're great they're probably slightly better feeling than the standard ones but there's no huge leap forward on them uh the one thing that i will say was that when Moose was in for the service, the mechanic who did the service said, well, he came out and he kind of asked which, what kind of pads that is that you've got on your bike. And I was like, mm, I've, if I just blow my warranty. But uh, apparently uh, he was just asking because he was impressed with how clean the calipers were. There wasn't a huge amount of dust on them. Um, I did say, look, I haven't done a huge amount of miles this year. Um, I think probably including the run down i'd probably done about 350 ish miles on the pads but he said no look he said they're remarkably clean considering uh he just wanted to know so maybe he's thinking about using them himself um and he said normally the standard ones are just caked all over the calipers when they come in um so there we we uh we boost in owning those um as i said in the last video i've chucked on a new uh, Michelin Road 5 very happy with that tyre the last ones did me about something like four and a half five thousand miles um, and it was more the usual which is wear in the centre of the tyre that was the issue in the end so um, that's why I bought new ones uh, I was talking to Chris over on his channel on Twist and Go um, about the track day thing well, well we'll see if that happens i'd i'd like to give it a go yeah but chris was saying there uh, tire wise you probably need to take another set with you so i'll go for if these are still on the bike i'll i'll take these run them for the first couple of days and then the third day i'll put on the stickier version um, and we'll see how that goes anyway um other than that um the fly screen's been wrapped um very happy with it the orange isn't quite a match for what's on what the bike is um, it's fairly close um, I think when we matched the swatches with Ronnie he took the number down so I'm guessing it's that when it went on that was as close as we could get so if anyone knows the right vinyl code for that let me know and I'll see if I can get some more in and get it recovered it's not like it's big bucks or anything very happy with it it looks cool as it really suits the front of the bike uh, hope you agree um the belly pan <laughs> that might be a little while yet uh, ronnie went to cover that as well um he'd asked me to put a gloss finish on it just to help the wrap adhere to it a bit better but unfortunately I'm a crap painter. <laughs> I didn't do something. I don't know if it's a primer that was the issue, but it just peeled the paint when he was moving things around. So that's in a, a real painter's getting done. Um, Cost-wise, I'll, I'll let you know roughly how much it all cost in the end and do I think it was good value for money. Uh, I know already uh, quite a few of you don't like it, but them's the brakes. I like it. That's all that matters, really. Um, and I think that's it, guys. Um, but a new pair of gloves, which is just as well because it's not really stopped raining this year. Every time I go out, it feels like it's raining. Um, so there are a set of uh, KTM Powerwear, sort of short, sort of gloves, waterproof, um, kind of half leather, um, and then they've got like a material kind of Gore-Texy finish to them as well, um, and they've got a membrane inside by the looks of it. So I, I like the style of them. Probably not the best because they are short and obviously you're going to get water ingress going up your sleeve but it's kind of hard to look cool when you've got big Captain America cuffs on in it so <laughs> that's all that matters looking cool anyway um just a very quick video guys just to say thank you for watching the last one I'm very sorry about the sound hopefully this turns out a bit better uh, that's my fault 
uh, just rushing things instead of taking my time and making sure things were set up. And I'll try not to let it happen again. Anyway, take care, be safe, see you around. Alright, something I just remembered on the way home in the rain. Um, when I was riding down to Perth, well actually it was when I got into Perth and started filtering through the sort of morning traffic. I noticed there was a very slight um, wobble coming from the front discs. Now I've never noticed that before, um, but then I'm never normally in town traffic. I can kind of go out my door, out of the front door, and I'm off into sort of roads like this, so... Um, it may have been there for a while. I believe it might be an issue anyway. I called your bike, I mentioned it to you previously. Uh, people are changing their discs, or having them um, exchanged under warranty. And I think somebody said, it may have been him, and it may have been Quick Quack. Somebody definitely mentioned that uh, one of the options they were given when they were having their their discs slash rotors exchanged was to pay the difference and get the wavies put in. They ain't cheap, but if you were paying for sort of one disc, getting them for sort of the extra on top of an exchange set of discs under warranty then I'd definitely be up for that I haven't actually checked to see how much of a warp there is uh, riding at normal speeds on the brakes I'm not really aware of them uh, it's more like I say it was just when you were just touching the brake lever you could find kind of feel this wavy pressure coming and going um, so I'm pretty convinced there's a slight warp there what I'll do is, when I get five minutes I'll mount the GoPro and just walk it up and down the drive and see if it shows up on there. Either way guys, you'll be the first to know. And uh, if I think of anything else on the way home, I'll fire up the GoPro again. In the meantime, stay safe, see you around.